This is a live grasshopper. Okay, there it moved a little bit. I don't know if you saw it move. I'm trying to get him to, to move. You see, it's very, um, I don't know how to work my phone here. Oh, yeah, I can see it moving there. It's very um, docile for a, for a grasshopper. Most grasshoppers I've seen were more, they made more effort to get away from me when I tried to catch them. Anyway, I'm going to eat his head. Okay, so I didn't really eat his head. I crushed it there. Uh, I'm curious what is... I'm trying to... I suck at filming. Um, uh, <laughs> filming from this angle. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to set my phone down so I have two hands. Ugh. Okay. So, I just kind of show, okay, I don't know if you can see there, but his head is pretty much, you know, messed up. So, where the heck is the camera here? Yeah, I guess it's not showing very well, but his head is crushed. He's, it's, it's, you know, it's messed up. Um, one of the things I was curious about, let's see, so you can see now I'm just going to pull that straight out. His legs are still moving, but uh, his head is in over here, and those are some, uh, I don't know, maybe the spine or something, and over here is the moving grasshopper with no head. Um, I think off camera I'll eat it, but I'm eating it. Now one of the things I was curious about is um, would I get anything interesting crawling out of that grasshopper? Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove his, his legs now, because his hind legs, because those are the ones that are pressing on my hand and uh, annoying. Okay. All right. Uh, people sometimes ask me, what is a good source of um, nutrients for where you can find all of the all of the uh, nutrients that are in bones and skeleton skeletal tissue? Well, the exoskeleton of an insect has all of the nutrients that are in the exoskeleton of an insect. Promise. So here he is with that one big leg left. I'm going to take that one off now. There we go. Front four legs are still moving quite, quite actively. No interesting, uh, nothing really interesting to me going on with the with the torso, other than the expected movement of the legs. Uh, I can set it down now, and it, it can't, you know, it's not going to fly away or run away. Whatever uh, motor functions are controlled by the brain are obviously not connected to the uh, rest of the body right now but I still can do stuff I think I'll take a moment of a uh, video of so you can you can actually like sit and crawl isn't that interesting no head it's still lots of uh, motor skills. I don't know if I caught that very well in the video here. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, 
I'm gonna squeeze the, uh, this is a bit graphic, so I expect this to be pretty gross if people are squeamish so far, then you might stop now. Um, I'm gonna squeeze the, just see what comes out of that central cavity. And nothing's really coming out. Uh, can squeeze from the rear. Uh, I can squeeze from the front. I'll go ahead and show a little more uh, visibility of me taking a chunk of it bite wise. Again, here's the uh, inner section. Basically hollow. Of course, um, a big part of the internal body came out with the head and skull or whatever that would be called. There's really not a whole lot of great stuff left. I want those primary organs and uh, the wings and stuff are not that interesting to me. Um, people have made reference to uh, where someone can get good sources of bacteria and I have mentioned that um, insects can be a good source of bacteria their their digestive tract I just took the, the latter part of the tail off so there's the two middle legs midsection the wings that's about it I don't think I have anything interesting left to say about it right now. And I'm about done with what's left. I might just toss that out and let a bird eat it.